Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we are diving into the book. We're diving into our book that we're going through this month. If you're brand new, we have been going through books since last spring. And all I do is hop on and give you something to think about today. So as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? And here is the question of the day. Have you done any holiday shopping? Or are you a last minute person? I'm almost done, like almost completely done. I'm going to do a little Black Friday shopping because I think it's just fun. And my husband and I are going to make a whole day of it. But I just thought this morning I was like, I was looking around and I've got things hidden in my closet and I was like, I wonder who else is shopping and who is waiting. My goal was to be done in November, but we'll see. All right. Good morning. Got a couple things for you to think about as you're tuning in. If you're reading the book with me, awesome. If you're just tuning in every single morning to maybe get one little nugget to take with you into your day to think about, to ponder on, to put into action. That is awesome as well. So I do have a, I picked out two quote cards because I liked them both. And one of them says this, and it kind of goes right along with what we're going to talk about. It says, great people do, do things before they are ready. They do things before they know they can do it. Doing what you're afraid of, getting out of your comfort zone, taking risks, that's what life is all about. So I thought that was great. And then this one says this, when you're in your lane, there's no traffic. I love this one because oftentimes, and especially with social media, you can get so fixated on everybody else's, like their results and their journey and wait, they're doing it this way. And wait, I'm supposed to be right here. Here are my goals. Here are my dreams. Here's what I want, but I'm so fixated on everybody else that I hop into their lane and I get into the comparison mode and I stop it, stop it. Focus on what you're going after. Your body is different than everybody else's and you're on your own journey. Nobody else's. Stay in your own lane. All right, so a couple things to think about for this morning. We're on chapter five. I'm just gonna read a couple things to you that I thought stood out to me. Um, we're on chapter five, uh, page, where are we at? Page 161. The book is, the book is about moments, right? And, uh, seizing the moment, moments in your life. And so something that he said that I loved, he says this, he says, it is possible that you have been fleeing your define moments or is that what it says? Have been fleecing? That's so weird. And anyways, your defined moments. It looked funny. Rather of fleeing, rather than seizing them, uh, that you've said to God, I am not doing anything, risking anything, or going anywhere until you give me a sign. So he told a story about a man that was asking for a sign and he wasn't going to do anything until there was a sign. He says, here you choose to live in safety, comfort, and convenience justifying this lifestyle because God hasn't called you to a different life. Is it your justification for living a low risk life? The absence of a sign to live differently. Basically, he's saying this. Oftentimes, people go, oh, I'm going to wait for a sign. Ooh, I'm going to wait for the universe to tell me I'm not going to do anything until I have that. Yes, 100%. That's what I'm supposed to do. And that's not faith. That's not even that's not even living. I labeled this video, oftentimes people want a map, but they're given a compass. And I'll read that to you in a second. But you're not going to have a 100% sign and a map that lays out your entire journey. You know, deep down the things that you should do, say somebody you should call, an action you should take. Like we use the excuse, Ooh, I, I just don't, I don't know. Like, I know, but I don't really know. Like, I know I should be doing this, but I'm going to wait for one more sign. The next day comes, oh, I don't know. I'm going to wait for tomorrow. One more sign. Right? You know something you should take action on. It's, 
It's stepping out in faith. And then as you do, different things will show up. All right. He said, and I think he says this here. He says, have you ever been stuck? Be oh, this is funny. This is actually pretty funny because this happens to me a lot. Have you ever been stuck behind somebody in traffic? Maybe on that day in particular, you were in a hurry, running late uh, or getting to an important engagement. There's just one car in front of you at the light. You're watching the light with intense focus, waiting for it to change from red to green. It seems to be taking forever. Those are the worst, right? You take um, taking forever, but it finally comes to pass. You take your foot off the brake. You're just about to hit the gas, but then you realize the person in front of you is entirely unaware that she has permission to go. Instead of looking forward, she is fixed on her own image in the review mirror. Remember what you were think. Remember what you were thinking. Move, lady. It takes. It doesn't take it to be any greener than than this. I wonder if that's what God is thinking of you. Ha! Move. Do something. I've given you what to do. I've put people in your place. I've given you mentors. I've uh, given you people to follow. I've given you the things that you need for this next step. Oftentimes we're like, I want the whole thing. I want to see the whole map before I decide to, decide to take the step. It's not going to happen that way. You're going to be a couch sitter or get your butt in that game. You're going to be a couch sitter or get the butt, get your butt in your life game, right? Don't be a spectator. Stop watching everybody else and get in the game. All right. It says you are called not to be a survivor, but to be a conqueror. And here's the last piece I loved. We're on page 164. He says, many of us want a map, but what we get is a compass. We are not given all the detailed outlines of how we should live each day. We are given a due north, a direction we should move towards. On this journey, one thing becomes very certain. When you move forward on what you know, things become clearer. As you take a step, the next step will show itself and you'll take that step. You're not going to have the whole map, but we are moving forward. We are moving due north. When you refuse to act on what you know, all that you do, I'm sorry, when you refuse to act on what you know, all that you do not know paralyzes you. We're going to stop there. Why are you not taking action on the things that you're wanting? Maybe a lot, some of you've made vision boards. Have you done anything towards it? Some of you want fat loss. That's why you're here. Are you making any changes to go after that? Some of you, I told, I talked earlier this week, maybe it was yesterday, about how this page isn't just about losing fat. Your mindset is so important and it's going to, it's going to really show in every area of your life. Maybe you're watching this and you're like, I actually have my diet under control, but I really need to make some changes in my job or finances or relationships. What do you need to do? You're never, you're never going to have a map of your whole life, right? You don't know, but you know, probably the next step you need to take. You have a compass. The compass says to move north. You got to keep moving or you will be paralyzed in fear and nothing will ever be accomplished. It's up to you. It's your choice, right? And even if you're afraid and you don't have the 100%, like, just take action. Messy action is better than no action, right? The only way you fail is if you quit. If you feel like you've failed, don't look at it as a failure. Say, well, I didn't fail. I learned something and I'm going to keep moving forward. That's how you should operate your day. I'm, I've learned and I'm going to keep going. I didn't quit, which means I didn't fail. I'm going to keep going. So with that, we're going to still move forward in the book. We probably can have this book done, I would say, by Monday. And then I'll, I'm will i probably going to take some old books out and do some reminders and just give you some different things to think about. So continue to tune in. Again, if you're just looking for recipes, hop on the page at any point in time or go back all the way to 2015 for so many recipes and tips and tricks. Send me messages. I'm always here to help to give you some guidance or some tips or some help in whatever questions you have. I hope you have an incredible morning and we will talk to you very soon.
Bye, everybody.